Uh, I am joined by Mr. Unikrishnan Nayar, the director of the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. So, congratulations on the successful launch, firstly. And uh, the, the chairman, ISRO chairman, was speaking about how the next 45 days is going to be very crucial after the launch. Can you just explain what the uh, process is for the next 45 days? See, right now, the LVM3 M4 vehicle has injected the spacecraft into a long elliptical orbit where the nearest point is 170 km from Earth and the farthest point is 36,500 km. Now we have to go travel 3.8 lakh kilometers. So the next phase is in stages using the thrusters on board this uh, Chandrayaan, we will add more velocity and thereby make the ellipse more and more longer and longer and finally it reaches the uh, moons. Uh, then you fire and then make it circle around the moon. Then subsequently you reduce the orbit size, make it in a 100 by 100 kilometer and then from there the lander will get separate and then it will be taking a 100 by 30 kilometer and then it will use the thrusters in the lander and then it will come, use the thrusters, fire in the opposite direction, reduce the velocity and make a soft land. After that, uh, after settling the dust, because you know the gravity in the, on the moon is one sixth of that earth, so it takes time to settle, the rover will come out and the rover can move up to one kilometer. It has got instrument, lander has got instruments. They will do the experiment and the data will come. So, so all these things will take around uh, uh, till August 23rd. Uh, so the lander is landing on the near the south, south southern pole of the moon, right? And the rover will be moving on the on that surface. So what exactly will the rover be conducting? We know that in 2008, the Chandrayaan-1 found out water molecules. So what exactly will be the function of the rover in that surface of the moon? There are payloads in, a, in the orbit or the propulsion module, there is a payload that will look from uh, the moon's orbit to Earth and then it will find the signature of a planet where life is there. It can be used later for identifying exoplanets. And on lander there are experiments that will measure the temperature distribution of the surface, that will also measure the plasma density. And then on the rover there are other two payloads that will collect samples, do spectroscopy and find out, analyze what are the elements in the moon surface and that data will be given to lander and lander will send it to Earth. So all these of uh, systems, orbit, I mean, uh, propulsion module, lander, rover, they all have payloads, all the data will be available. Okay. So now basically the lander and the rover both need sunlight yes. to, to function, right? So do you think that any sometime in the future that uh, these lander and the rover will be able to function without a sunlight? No, my main source is battery, that battery is charged by power, uh, solar power. That is why we land in such a way that we have one lunar day, which is 14 Earth days. You get the entire 14 days, it will be continuously, you know, sunrise will be available. And that is the life of the experiment. And uh, if you want to have uh, beyond that, we need uh, some, uh, some technology where the power can be stored. As of now, we are not expecting uh, beyond 40 days, 14 days it will survive. But sometimes after 14 days we will again switch on and see. And uh, because that part we will only see after 14 days. So now that the launch is successful, now what are the concerns? Do the ISRO and VSC have any other concerns with regard to the landing now? No, actually the launch part is by VSC. Now the spacecraft is built by URC because VSSC also have given payloads, they integrate it. Now the control will be done by the Bangalore Extract Station and URC, they will do further maneuvers and then they take it to the moon. So our part is done. Thank you so much for joining us sir.